In this video, I will tell you what are the eight biggest trends in crypto in 2025. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So the first trend is AI agents for crypto. So far, AI has been used pretty passively. So you ask something and you get an answer. But now with the rise of AI agent, AI start to take an active role and become independent. AI agents are AI entities that can decide which action to take and even execute the actions themselves without any human supervision. But what kind of actions are we talking about? AI is code and it can only take action by using an API like posting on social media. But what if we can do something more powerful like moving your money? You can do this with normal fiat money because banks don't have any APIs, but you can do this with crypto because blockchains are open by default. Everybody can send a transaction regardless or if it's a human or a program. So we already saw a first example of this with the Terminal of Truth, an AI agent that became popular on Twitter and started to pump a meme coin. Trading bots are just one use case, but there are many others like DPIN or decentralized physical infrastructure. AI agents could help to operate or verify nodes in a distributed energy network. We could also see AI agents become players in blockchain games, and we may even see an AI operated blockchain. So crypto and AI can be a great combination and there are other ideas like decentralized autonomous chatbots or DACs. So a DAC is an AI that can run a social media account, build a following and eventually generate some income. You can post content and also interact with other people on the platform. And an example of that is the terminal of truth on Twitter that I mentioned just before. But where is the blockchain in this? The problem of DAX is how do you make sure that it's really autonomous and not secretly controlled by a human? The answer is by running it in a blockchain. The next trend is prediction markets. So in 2024, prediction markets became popular. During the US election, the prediction market, poly markets accurately predicted the outcome of the election against the odds of most experts. In prediction markets, people bet on a certain outcome. If they are right, they make money, otherwise they lose money. But it's not just about speculation, it's also about predicting certain outcomes. This is useful for many use cases like community governance, sensor networks, or finance. Prediction markets work well for macro event, meaning events that impact many people and where we can have many predictions. But for micro events where we don't have so many predictions, they don't work so well. However, if we incentivize people to make predictions, we can source a lot of data that is currently buried in people's heads. That's why I think in 2025, we will see a huge growth of prediction markets. So we will see higher trading volume, prediction markets expanding in scope, and also more prediction markets. Most prediction markets will probably be just clones of poly market, similarly to what we saw with Uniswap, but there will be also some innovations. The next trend is proof of personhood. So with AI generating hyper-realistic content, we need a way to prove who is a real human. Enter proof of personhood. So proof of personhood will be a blockchain based solution that prove that you are a real person online and also make it costly for AI to create fake identities. The next trend is stablecoin adoption. So stablecoins find product market fit in 2024. And that's because transferring money with stablecoins is currently the cheapest way to transfer money. Stablecoin also make it easy to accept payments for fintech entrepreneurs because there are no gatekeepers, no minimum balances, no protected APIs. Large companies have not adopted stablecoin yet but they are slowly realizing that they can save a lot of money by moving their money transfer 
on chain and we will see more of this in 2025. We will also see more merchants accepting stablecoins, including physical businesses like restaurants or coffee shops. They pay a lot of money in transaction fees and that will be the first beneficiary of switching to stablecoins. The next trend is the tokenization of unconventional assets. As blockchain tech mature, it becomes cheaper to tokenize assets. As these costs go down, we will see whole new segments of the economy that tokenize assets. These are assets that could not be monetized in the fiat world because it was too expensive and the liquidity was too low, and that includes data. Think of the oil industry. So before, some oil reserves were considered unreachable, but now with fracking, we can exploit these reserves. That's the same for a lot of real life assets and the key to unlock them is the blockchain. For example, people could tokenize their own biometric data and then list the information through smart contracts to companies. And we already see early examples of this through some decentralized science projects. The next trend is crypto app stores. App stores like the Apple App Store or Google Play acts as gatekeeper. They have access to hundreds of millions of users. And if you want to reach these users, you have to go through these app stores. However, app stores have a lot of power. They can decide to block any app that they don't like at any time for any reason. When you are a mobile app dev, there's nothing more scary than receiving an email from the app store. It usually means trouble. And crypto is especially targeted. A lot of crypto app gets blocked by the app stores because they compete with the payment system. But now we're seeing new app stores just for crypto. For example, there is a WorldCoin World App Marketplace, which has hundreds of thousands of users. Another example is the DApp Store for Solana mobile phone users. These app stores are enabled at the hardware level. There is nothing Apple or Google can do about it. These two examples also show how hardware, not just software, could be the key advantage for crypto app stores. The next trend is on-chain government bonds. Many Western countries have huge debt, and even though interest rates are high, it's getting more and more difficult to attract investors. Putting bonds on-chain could unlock a new source of liquidity. It would be more transparent, which makes investors feel safer. And some of these bonds could even have some on-chain collateral, which also makes investors feel safer. And there are already a couple of countries that are exploring this option including the US and the UK. So 2025 is going to be an amazing year for crypto and the best way to take advantage of the bull market is to be a blockchain developer. So next, check out this other video where I explain how I made $30,000 in one month as a blockchain developer. That's it for today. Bye.